Nonverbal communication involves those nonverbal stimuli in communication. Basically, nonverbal communication is sending and receiving messages in a variety of ways without using verbal cues. It's both intentional and unintentional. Nonverbal communication is one of the key aspects of any business communication scenario, and especially important to high context cultures. It has multiple functions. Nonverbal communication is used to repeat the verbal message. It's often used to accent a verbal message. It often complements a verbal message, but it also can contradict. It regulates interactions, and it may substitute for the verbal message entirely. Cultural differences in nonverbal communication are especially important. Let's consider a few. First, dress. All cultures are concerned for how they look and will make judgment based on dress and look. Americans, for instance, appear most obsessed with dress and personal attractiveness. Consider body movement. We make judgments based on how an individual moves without saying anything. We need to be aware of our body movement and our position as a key ingredient in communicating with different audiences. Posture. Consider the following actions and note cultural differences. Bowing is not done and criticized in the U.S., but shows rank in Japan. Hands in the pockets is disrespectful in Turkey. Sitting with your legs crossed is offensive in Turkey. And showing shoes or feet is offensive in Thailand or Saudi Arabia. Gestures. It's nearly impossible to catalog all possible gestures. However, strong business communicators need to recognize one, incredible possibility and variety, and two, that the acceptableness of gestures in one's own culture may be different from another. In addition, amount of gesturing varies from culture to culture. In terms of expression, cultures will do different things, either exaggerating or underemphasizing facial expressions in their communication. Eye contact. In the U.S., eye contact indicates a degree of attention or interest. Western cultures see direct eye contact as positive. While Arabic cultures make prolonged eye contact, they believe it shows interest and helps truthfulness of the other person. Japan, Africa, Latin America, the Caribbean, and other cultures avoid eye contact altogether to show respect. Finally, touch. Question. Why do we touch? Where do we touch? And what meanings do we assign to someone else's touch? The basic answer, touch is culturally determined. However, each culture has a clear concept of what parts of the body one may touch.